The fifth annual Ca Capital Region Gun Buyback Program takes place this Saturday in Hartford and is open to all Connecticut residents. And for turning in guns, you'll receive gift cards. Fox Connecticut's Tony Terzi joins us now with where and when you can turn in those guns. Tony? Lori and Brent, the city of Hartford and the Hartford Police Department, in addition to the three trauma centers in Hartford, are all involved. The trauma, trauma centers involved because they want to help prevent rather than just treat gun-related injuries. Over the past four years, nearly 550 firearms have been collected during the Capital Region Gun Buyback Program. If you talk to the Hartford Police, the guns we collect in this buyback program are exactly the type of guns that are turning up in crimes here in the city of Hartford. Dr. Campbell, a trauma surgeon, is an avid sportsman who keeps his weapons in a safe, but he adds guns in the home are typically more dangerous than protective. If you keep a gun in your home, it's more likely to be used in a homicide or suicide with one of your family members than it is to shoot a criminal uh, that's breaking into your house. Saturday from 9 to 3, you'll be able to bring a wide variety of unwanted, unloaded guns to the community renewal team offices in Hartford at 555 Windsor Street. And in return, you'll receive a stop and shop gift card. When folks come in, there is an initial checkpoint downstairs. Folks are screened downstairs on the first floor and then they're allowed to come upstairs and to give in their guns. Now what about folks who wish to turn their gun in with no questions asked? We'd like them to provide their name and information should the gun turn up to be used in a crime down the road. But if someone genuinely wants to turn a gun in anonymously, we're gonna, if, if, it, if, if that's what it takes to get the gun off the street, yes, we'll do it. Of course, the goal of every gun buyback program is to save lives. But they also save money because each shooting costs all taxpayers. Most victims are underinsured. The social services to their children and their family down the road, as well as the person who committed the crime, the court, the incarceration. Next hour on the Fox Connecticut News at 5, one trauma surgeon tells me about one particular shooting that motivated him to get involved. And another trauma surgeon tells me why he's done with his gun. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox Connecticut.